Early humans were primarily nomadic, moving constantly in search of food. This mobility was crucial for survival as it allowed them to follow animal herds and seasonal vegetation. They typically lived in small bands or groups. These groups were often extended family units, allowing them to maintain a close-knit social structure while remaining small enough to be mobile. Their subsistence depended heavily on hunting animals and gathering wild plants, fruits, nuts and seeds. The diet was varied depending on the region and season. They used stone tools for hunting and butchering animals. These tools evolved over time, becoming more sophisticated in design and purpose. Social structures were likely egalitarian, with no rigid hierarchies. The survival of the group depended on cooperation and sharing of resources. Artistic expression, as evidenced by cave paintings, like those in Lascaux, France, and small sculptural objects, suggests a rich cultural life. These artifacts indicate early religious beliefs or shamanistic practices. Shelters were temporary and often consisted of simple constructions. Caves, when available, were commonly used. Clothing was made from animal skins and was essential for survival, especially in colder climates. Early humans were highly adaptable, occupying a range of environments from African savannas to Arctic conditions. The control of fire was a significant milestone, providing warmth, protection and a means to cook food which made it more digestible and safer to eat. During the Paleolithic, humans experienced several ice ages and had to adapt to changing climates and landscapes. This period saw significant migrations and evolution in human behavior and tools. As the last ice age receded around 12,000 years ago, it ushered in a more stable and warmer climate, leading to an abundance of plant and animal life in regions like the Fertile Crescent. In response to growing populations and the ensuing pressure on resources, hunter-gatherer groups began experimenting with the cultivation of wild grains such as wheat and barley. This shift to deliberate farming marked the beginning of the Neolithic Revolution, fundamentally changing human interaction with the environment. The reliable food supply from agriculture allowed these early humans to establish permanent settlements, reducing the need for nomadic existence. With the domestication of animals like goats and sheep for meat, milk and labor, these communities became more self-sufficient fostering the development of complex social structures. The Fertile Crescent in the Middle East is often regarded as the cradle of civilization. This region saw some of the earliest developments in agriculture and permanent settlements. It includes parts of modern-day Iraq, Syria, Lebanon, Palestine, Israel and Jordan. With advancements in farming techniques, communities began to produce surplus food. So not everyone needed to be a farmer. This allowed some people to develop other skills, leading to professions like pottery, weaving and tool making. Animal domestication led to the emergence of herders. With permanent settlements, the need for shelter led to the emergence of builders to construct homes and other structures for the community. They eventually started trading surplus goods for goods and services they needed. A handmade spear could be exchanged for a woven cloth or a cow for a sack of grains. Apart from goods, services were also exchanged. The barter system was born. With increased complexity in economic and social structures, there arose a need for organization and governance. This led to the development of social hierarchies and the emergence of leaders or governing bodies to manage resources, laws and public works. As settlements grew, so did the need for organized urban planning. Early cities began to develop infrastructure such as roads, markets, temples and storage facilities. Metallurgy 
the process of extracting and manipulating metals, was a groundbreaking development in human history. The earliest phase of metallurgy is marked by the use of native metals, particularly copper, which were used in their natural, metallic state. This period is known as the Copper Age and began around 5000 BC. The Bronze Age followed around 3000, 300 BC and then the Iron Age started around 1200 BC. The ability to create and manipulate metals revolutionized many aspects of life, including agriculture with improved tools, the development of trade networks for acquiring and distributing metals, and also military technology with stronger weapons. One of the earliest known cities, Uruk in Mesopotamia, founded around 4000 BC, was a center of commerce, art, and architecture. It is also believed to be the site of the earliest forms of writing. The invention of writing systems, such as cuneiform in Mesopotamia in 3500 BC and hieroglyphics in Egypt around 3200 BC, marked a pivotal advancement in human civilization, enabling the documentation and preservation of information beyond oral traditions. In Mesopotamia, cuneiform evolved from simple pictographs to a complex system of writing used for a variety of purposes, including legal codes, trade records, and literary works, thereby playing a key role in the administration and cultural development of ancient societies. Similarly, Egyptian hieroglyphics, with their rich symbolic imagery, were instrumental in maintaining pharaonic decrees, religious texts, and historical records significantly contributing to the governance, religious life, and intellectual progress of the civilization. The invention of the wheel around 3500 BC, a hallmark of human ingenuity, revolutionized transportation and trade in early civilizations, facilitating the movement of goods and people over greater distances and with less effort. The development of the plow, particularly when coupled with animal power, transformed agriculture enabling more efficient tilling of land and significantly increasing crop yields, which supported larger populations. As human societies evolved and became more complex, the nature of conflicts also transformed, with early wars reflecting the burgeoning complexities of organized communities. In ancient Mesopotamia, around 2700 BC, City-states like Uruk, Lagash, and Amma engaged in warfare primarily over vital resources like fertile land and water for irrigation, crucial for their agrarian-based economies. The construction of walls around cities like Jericho, even before 8000 BC, indicates early defensive measures against potential threats, underscoring the importance of territorial security. The Akkadian Empire founded by Sargon of Akkad around 2300 BC, marked the first instance of empire building in recorded history, representing a significant shift in the political landscape of ancient Mesopotamia. Sargon's conquests unified a vast region under a centralized authority, incorporating various Sumerian city, states, and extending as far as present, day Iran setting a precedent for future empires in terms of scale and governance. The Akkadian Empire introduced new levels of social and administrative complexity, including the use of a standardized language for administration and the implementation of a more sophisticated bureaucracy. Its rise and subsequent influence profoundly shaped the cultural, political, and economic dynamics of the ancient Near East laying the groundwork for the concept of an empire. As we conclude our exploration of civilization's history, we reflect on its evolution from the early agricultural societies near the Tigris and Euphrates, which led to trade and cooperation to the architectural wonders like Egypt's pyramids. Innovations such as irrigation, the plow and writing played crucial roles in shaping societies allowing for the establishment of laws, empires, and the spread of knowledge, 
the invention of the wheel transformed villages into cities, fostering trade and cultural connections. Civilizations have risen and fallen, leaving lasting legacies through structures like the Colosseum, the Hanging Gardens and the Great Wall, all symbolizing human ambition and creativity. Yet, the essence of civilization lies not just in grandiose achievements, but in the daily lives of ordinary people, the farmers, weavers and storytellers who form the backbone of communities. As we look forward, we face a world interconnected by technology, carrying the lessons of history with us. We recognize the importance of learning from past mistakes, celebrating diverse cultures and using technology to improve lives. Our future should focus on knowledge, empathy and sustainable innovation. In this ongoing story of civilization, we are not just inheritors but active participants tasked with creating a future that honors our past while embracing unity and progress. We have the opportunity to write a new chapter, one that emphasizes harmony and collective well-being, continuing the journey that began millennia ago.